Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati. I'm going to be doing the scripture writing for day one for January, a new beginning. So you'll be seeing back-to-back -back videos of this. This is going to be my new scripture um, plan. Um, change the so you can see the front cover. So it's the Grace Upon Grace. It was a planner at one time. I took the covers apart and now it's my scripture writing. So before we begin, I'd like to tell everybody welcome. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment and share the video. That'd be great. I appreciate it. So I don't know if you remember, I did a video um, showing this and showing you all the prompts and everything for you to do your scripture writing. So this is from the Happy Planner. It's a day on a page. I mean, a day on the page. A month on one page instead of two. I like it this way because I can just literally pull this out, put it on the side as I'm writing. So I can see, oh, Jeremiah 29, 11. That's going to be day one. So we're going to write here. I'll do gratitude later. And then, yeah, we'll take it from there. But this was a planner before. So that is the insert. It was the Glory to God, Happy Planner, Faith Edition. So, again, give it a big thumbs up. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Um, on the weekends is when I'm going to do lives. So I may throw lives in once in a great while. But, yeah, so on the weekends, most likely it'll be just lives. And haul videos. And yeah, let's begin. So during the week, it'll be, you know, all kinds of different videos. I want to do some crafts with you. Um, I literally just did this one here. Which I'm working on my, our daily bread. So I added this little uh, fish. And then I just tied it and then just left that ribbon. But all I did was add the ribbon to here. And now I have bookmarks right here. And these are the things that I want to do with you, like little crafts and then things like that. So if you're interested in, you know, crafts and stuff, stick around. Please subscribe. I would love to have you. So let's begin with the scripture writing, what we're here for, because I've been getting a lot of questions on, like, my uh, Bible bag. I got to do that video. Um, so thank you for the suggestion. And everybody wants to see flip throughs of my, like my faith and stuff like that. So like my faith journals, things like that. So I will be doing those. But this one is going to be scripture writing only in here. So everything, every month, and I will change the rings as soon as, you know, it grows. And then in between, I might have to add paper because... This one has gratitude, so you lose a lot of space. I mean, I could write around it. But I love the fact it has grace on there. It's so beautiful. So we're going to do day one, Jeremiah 29.11. So what I'm going to do is use this highlighter, the Sharpie. Hopefully it still works. Found it in one of my bags, and I'm just going to, oh yeah. But it does bleed. So that's a little terrible. But I just wanted it to be highlighted showing that we're doing it. So let's read 2911 from Jeremiah, which is Jeremiah here. I am using a new Bible. It is the Holy Bible King James Version. Where did I get this from? I think I bought this at... Oh my god, I don't even remember. Did I write it? I have like a whole bunch of stuff in here. Uh, nope, but I did put the year 2020, so I did buy it in 2020. Okay, so when you look back at your Bibles, you want to see when you picked up your Bible. That's when I, that's why I started writing the year. So Jeremiah 29, 11, it says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. So how is everybody? I'm not going to say how is your scripture writing going because I am behind and I don't want, you know, to make anybody feel like, oh, I'm behind 
I am definitely behind. And I said, I need to start today. What better way to start scripture but on a Monday? You know, I never in the million years thought paper made, made a pen like this. I don't know why, but it's it's a good writing pen. I thought it was a flareette for a minute, but it's a paper mate regular ballpoint pen. And it's really nice. Thoughts that So I have the date up here. I may if there's more room, I may just go ahead and do day two on here. You know, in another video. Or another day I mean the next day or whatever. So just because it has like all this paper doesn't mean that this day will be only for this. If that makes any sense. So how do you like the scripture writing plan? Um, I did post a video of it. And it's for the new be a new beginning. And then I just put great is thy faithfulness. And then amen. And then here I'll commit to you know your work unto the Lord. And that'll be things that I do personally for myself. Um, yeah. I like because January is a new beginning. So I like that, you know, the plan focusing on new beginnings. And then, too, if you want, which is totally up to you. Like, I probably will do another version on my own. And because, like, some of these words, like, Seth. I mean, I don't say Seth, you know. So, maybe a definition of Seth. Or maybe, like, um, you can even do a soap study after you do your verse. And then soap study. I may do that. I may do a definition and then a soap study. And just gratitude is just being grateful. Like To me, it's just grateful. My gratitude will be in another journal, so I don't really need to put gratitude here. So to me, it's just every day you have gratitude to me. Um, but if you have this kind of paper and you want to write out your, you know, what you're grateful for, you know, your gratitude, go, go right ahead. But I think for me, myself, I think I'm going to go back to soap study. I miss doing it. I miss writing out prayers. I'm actually working on another one. Where is it at? Um, oh my god, do I have it in front of me or no? It was a little book I just bought and I cannot find it right now. Oh my gosh, what did I do with that little book? It's a little book and it's a daily, day-to-day -day devotion prayer. That would be so cool to do with you guys. If I could find it. Because I seriously made a mess in my room. Which is literally... Uh, oh, I found it. Okay. Let me just grab it. Sorry, I'm away from the camera. So if, if I sound low, it's because I'm away from the camera. Oh, and I just knocked everything over. So this notebook here, and I'm just digressing in every way. This is the book I'm doing, praying God's word day by day. And then this book will be for that only. And then once I'm done with the pages, I'll just either archive it or start another Bible study or devotional. But this would be cool to do with you guys. So let me know in the comments below if you're interested in that. So that's another one that I will be working on. Every single day, I'm going to, you know, I have to grow my faith. So the word of the year for me is bloom. And bloom means to me like blooming in every aspect of my life. At work, I want to bloom. At home, I want to bloom. Um, my faith, I want to bloom. Like everywhere, like every aspect of your life, I want to bloom. So that is the word I chose. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight this one.
And I don't know why I highlight it. I just highlight it. I guess to show that I was in here. I don't know. But you can't even see what I just highlighted. So I just highlighted day one. And then here on the side, I'm going to put January 20, 21, new beginning. Oh, I just got it. You ever get like a twitch? I got one in my leg just now. It's so weird. So that's what I'm going to put on the side. I know a lot of people don't like to write in their Bibles, but I do. Um, so it's KJV. Jeremiah. So we're going to do KJV. So I know that's the version. And then let's put... Um, what can we put? Let's put some washi. You know, if I could find my faith book, because I just had it right here. It's literally right in front of me. I just want to put like a little strip of washi. And let's see what we have here. So this is not an actual planner. This is my scripture writing. I kind of like the Jesus as my jam, but that kind of sounds... Be brave. Makes it a great. I'm just looking for Jesus first. That's what I want. What do you have to do? You have to have Jesus first. So this is where I'll put his. And then... Well, is that crooked? I'm going to leave it. So that is that one. Down here, I'm going to put... Like... The soap study. So we did the scripture, which is the S. We're going to do the observation. I might do the soap study in the back. And I want the word Seth as the definition. So Seth. And then define. And then I'll write that here. I may write some stuff down here. But in the back, I'll probably just do the observation, the application, and the prayer. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment, share the video. I know this was a long-waited, long-waited scripture writing plan again. And thank you for being so patient. And yeah, I don't even know why I haven't been doing scripture writing. I fall off of everything. So again, thank you for watching. And I will talk to you in the next video. Have a good night. Bye-bye.